Welcome to some Burger Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. On the last episode, we didn't keep the game because I got stuck at a blue one card at the last door and couldn't find one. So I just got a safe file instead. Playing, but hey, I, I still want to play Riku and I didn't feel like grinding for like two hours trying to mine a car. Anyway, here we go. Riku to Al. No FMB cutscene this time. Okay, well. Ugh. Where, where am I? Sleep. Who's there? Sleep. Here. Between light and dark. Between light? The king. Where's the king? Together, we close the door to darkness. And after that... Why can't I remember? Your king is far away. Sleep and leave the war with darkness in his hands. The thorny light of awakening will only bring anguish to one in your state. Turn from the light. Shut your eyes. Now oh, wait. Let me just... Okay, yeah. Everything's good. You talk like I'm some kind of demon of the dark. Can you face the truth? Here, blanketed by the darkness, sleep is safety. Sleep is eternal. Is this a card? It is a door to the truth. Take it, and your sleep ends. Take it, and take the first step towards the truth. But know this, the truth will bring you pain. Will you still go? There can be no returning to the sweet security of sleep. Yeah, well, seems like a boring place to take a nap anyway. Well said, Riku. Could be a little louder. Well, we're back to Castle of Oblivion again. Riku mode is cool, though, so I don't mind. A door to the truth, huh? Hollow Bastion. Oh, yeah, I forgot he goes to Hollow Bastion first. This is Maleficent's castle. How did I end up here? Someone must have brought me here while I was sleeping. For who? What you see is not real. It's the world of your memory. My memory? The things you remember in Maleficent's castle from your time there. Those memories became a card, and that card made this world. The things you've seen, you've seen them all before, haven't you? Yeah. So what now? Am I supposed to learn something while I'm here? Maybe run into someone I know? Ordinarily, yes. You would meet the people in your memories. Ordinarily? Hey, I'm asking you a question. Fine. But I'd better run- be- It better- It better be you I run across next, the voice. I'm sick of talking to thin air. Hollow Bastion. Yeah, he's so fast. Riku can't build his own deck. He must battle using closed deck with pre-selected cards. The deck Riku uses changes as he proceeds to the castle. Okay, but I can re- oh, I can't even rearrange it. Interesting. Well, the way they do it is they put the higher numbers first, so... I don't know. I did the opposite, personally, when I played this, but... Come on! 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 Come on!
Also, to be honest, I found Riku's final boss way harder than Lucia. In Green Team, I believe, anyway. Like, Handsome was way harder than Malusia, in my opinion. Malusia wasn't that hard at all. Leveling up. Wow, even on the map, he feels a little bit different. Like, he's faster, he jumps a little higher, I think. He just feels cool. In tricking three chain of memories, they decide to give him some weird slip roll instead of the epic dodge he has in this game. Oh wait, I learned my lesson from the other thing. Always save a one card. You never know when you might need it for later. One card, PTF2. Doesn't look like he has magic right now. Bro, that dodge attack thing, that dodge roll is so cool. Wow, I'm just whooping him. Much as I get another freaking copper right on this game for no reason. He definitely runs faster. Two, three, four, five, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot he might have an enemy card I can spam too. I don't know what it does, but... Why not? Maybe you're so fun. In some ways, I like him playing him more than Sora. It's always exhilarating when I get to this part. You get the sense of power that you don't quite get with Sora. Like, Riku just feels so strong. Oh yeah, he doesn't need movable points either, because, I mean, he 
doesn't get new cards. I'm just gonna pick them up, even if I don't need them. Also, his jump animation looks pretty good, too. Bro, it's just a bunch of health, because he can't get new cards, he can't get moogle points. Close enough. Also, I have all these high number cards from the start, so it feels sick. Let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Like he said, everything's just how I remember it, even this room. It must be nice being back in the old bedroom. Think of all the memories. You again. Sorry, but these memories I could do without. Maleficent gave me this room. This room wasn't even in cage one, so it's unique actually. So she did, and you lived here, tempted by the darkness she offered. You cast away your home, your friends, everything. At least I gave you a nice room. Shut up. That's my Riku.
I knew they would pull a nine out of nowhere. Well, let's not go this way for now. Let's see if we can get a nine. If not, we'll get a zero instead. Almighty darkness. Bro, these guys are annoying no matter who I'm fighting. Ha! 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 
How you doing today? Been having a lot of fun with this game and it's almost finished, so I'll be on to Kingdom Hearts 2 before I know it. Probably by the end of the year, maybe. The graphics in this game look really nice. Yep, it was remade for the PS2, um, as Rechain of Memories, so... That version has its own set of, like, weird quirks to it that... I don't know, I mean, I like both versions, but I, I honestly kind of like the Game Boy Advance version a little more. Just because it just feels more in home, in line with the system it's being played on, you know? Like, you really appreciate the sense of scale with this game more on its original system. Because Reed Chain kind of feels weird and somewhat cheap, because they use the Reed Cage 1, the Kingdom Hearts 1 graphics again, but it's presented like this game, so all the rooms look like a bunch of boxes, and it's just weird. Like, at least on this system, like, it isn't just reuse KH1 assets, it's like, they sprite in all of this, and it looks, it just looks nice. And plus, the gameplay just feels a little bit better on here. Arguably. Other than the fact that I can't hit enemies sometimes. I don't like the hitboxes all the time. Oh wow, must be super cold out. Oh, well I guess I technically opened that door by using another version of the same door. Anyway, in this game, everything is kind of like dictated by cards for some reason. With Swords campaign, you're building decks and crap. And you're like, you know, using whatever card you want. But in Riku's, it's completely different and you have a pre-established deck of cards already. In the past through doors, you also have to use cards, which is, you know, that's a thing too. So you have to have a certain number, or higher, in order to pass certain doors. So this one wants me to get a green one, for example. And this one wants me to get 8 or above. Crap, I already used an 8 earlier. Um, oh, I have one here. 8. And each card also has its own effect and generates a different type of room. So 
It's kind of like a, you know, make what you want of it kind of gameplay thing going on here too. Like, you can just push the room to your liking, as long as it has the right number. Twinkle Darkness is just, you know, average strength heartless, nothing crazy. And then there's ones where they have higher numbers and lower numbers. I mean, where they're stronger or weaker. Basically, you have to beat out the number on their card in order to not have your hit deflect. So, like, if I use a slate with three cards, I can always usually break the cards they're using in the fight. So, basically, kind of like the regular cage gameplay, just with a bunch of cards dictating every attack. So, kind of like Sticker Star, with every move being dictated by a sticker, except, you know, this is actually a good game. <laughs> and mostly well designed. Although, I will say, the door card stuff is kind of annoying. I literally got screwed over at the end of the game because I need a freaking blue one card and I, I I had to go back to the I went to the first floor of the game, try to find one. I only found one blue card in like 20 minutes grinding and it wasn't one. So I just kinda gave up and looked up the ending of the game because I already beat this game on the remake anyway. And then I got a 100% save file so I can play it on Riku mode, because you have to actually beat the game with Sora to get Riku mode, so, um, yeah. I kind of, I'm a little bit sad I didn't get to fight Marluxia, but, like, I don't really care, honestly. Whatever. The door RNG is just kind of annoying. Well, it's not even RNG, like, I'm, I imagine every door has a certain special right number, but, like, really? A one? That's the end of the game. How, am, how do they really expect me to think, oh, you know, I'm gonna keep a one card. I'm gonna need it by the end of the game. No. You don't know that. That's ridiculous. Freaking RNG dictates whether or not I can pass a door sometimes. Yeah, that's the only kind of thing I really don't like in this game sometimes. I mean, usually it isn't really a problem. You, If you grind a bunch like me, you usually have all the cards you would need to get through a door, it's just, I didn't that time, so, um, whoops, I shouldn't have used a 1 earlier in the game, I guess. Because it's like, oh, you used a 1 card? Oh well, you're screwed. Yeah. Sticker Star isn't a bad, terrible game, it's just really eh. I guess I'll use this one. Sure. We got more lore here. Anyways, I don't know if you saw my last Kingdom Hearts 1 stream on that, but uh, basically, Sora beat Ansem, they closed the door to darkness, Riku was on the other side, and now he ended up here, and then Sora, Riku, I mean Sora, Donald, Goofy, Re or, or like sent to some random field in the middle of nowhere, and then they ran to this castle. I'm just gonna so I'm just summarizing the events with Sora, real quick. And then basically, Sora went to this castle. These bunch, this group called the organizations, freaking messing with his memory. Okay, due to the fact that they have somebody called Nomine on their side, who is a good guy, by the way. But anyway, she was taken advantage of by the leader Marluxia, and then. Along the way, Sora forgot more and more because Nominate's freaking messing with their memories, so... Um, basically, Sora can become their slave. Or their pawn of the organization, which is the bad guys. And then, Sora beats a bunch of people. And then this guy named Vexen makes a fake Riku to try to trick Sora into thinking Nominate's real further. And then... Sora beats the fake Riku, and beats, like, all the organization members, and at the end, Nomine attempts to restore Sora's memories, and he's still friends with her, even though she tampered with his memories, because, you know, Sora's a nice guy. Basically, that's the summary of the events. That, that was a lot to process, 
Also, there's this guy named Axel, who's kind of a wild card. He, you think he's a bad guy, but then he, he, he helped nominate Go Free. So he's like a double agent. Basically. Also, he killed that guy, Vexen, I mentioned earlier, so. Because he was ordered by Malusia to do it. And he did it so he could figure out who the traitor of the organization is, because Malusia is not even the leader of the organization. He is trying to overthrow it. So basically, he stopped another bad guy. This is right after Kingdom Hearts 1, after they closed the door. And, um, before Kingdom Hearts 2. So. If you play Kingdom Hearts 2 and not this game, you're going to be a little bit confused why Sora is in a sleeping pot at the end of the game. At the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 2. Because in this game, basically he was playing a pod to have his memories restored. And, um, yeah. That's pretty much the grasp of it. He forgets who Nomine is, but they wrote a note in Jimmy's journal, so that way they remember who Nomine is. Well, at least her name. There's nothing but Heartless in this castle. Voice, I know you're watching, so explain this. And Riku is in the basement of this the same castle that Tor is in, by the way. So his his events are happening at the same time as Sora's, roughly. Where are the people from my memories? Tell me. Are you sure you want to see them? First game, really, there wasn't that much complications to go over. Like, most of it's straightforward in that game. In this game, it gets a little more complicated. In Kingdom Hearts 2, it gets kind of crazy, but, you know, it's still manageable. You just gotta follow the games in order to really understand it, that's all. Of course I do. The, the Kingdom Hearts storyline isn't that hard to follow, honestly. People, people just say it's hard, but, like, really, just play the games in the release order, and that's it. But he casts them aside. To reach the outside world, you pass through the door to darkness. Behind you, you left family, friends, home, everything, all in pursuit of darkness. But I cast that aside too. Then what do you have to show for it? First your home, then the dark. Your heart only knows how to throw things away. It's empty, like that room. Like your memory. That's why no one is in the castle with you. Your heart is hollow except for the darkness you couldn't quite shake off. You're full of it. I rejected the darkness. <laughs> Did you really now? See the truth. Okay. Anyway, lots of lore explanations on this episode. That's fine though. Gotta gotta help the the newcomers here get caught up with the lore. Bit by bit anyway. Cause otherwise, I'd be here all day. Not that I would mind, but we're only at this game right now, so I'm not gonna explain too further ahead. And. I need to use this one. Okay, well, we're gonna fight Maleficent again, but this time kick her ass. Unlike... in my Sora playthrough, where she was pretty hard, actually. I'd, I gotta say, in the Game Boy Advance version, the bosses aren't that challenging. They're just a lot more hard in the Rechain version. So I, I think that's one thing they improved. I mean, they're still fun, but they're kind of easy. I knew you would return, Riku. I mean, then again, I, it also might be because I've already played the remake, so I know how to play. I know the game's mechanics. I know how the bosses are going to be, kind of. I knew you would return, Riku. Then again, though, some of the bosses are completely different. Maleficent, you're alive? You haven't been paying attention. I am but a figment of your memory. Of all the people I could run into, it had to be you. Bruh, his... he is just smiling. Who else? Your heart is steeped in darkness. You can only see people who exist in that same darkness. People like me. No. 
Be grateful you have someone to keep you company. Your heart is empty, or not for the darkness in your heart. You would be completely alone. That's sounding pretty good right about now. Come now, you once clung to me to say to your hunger for darkness. You want me here. Who else but I can give you the darkness you long for? There was a time I did want you around. I surrendered my heart to the dark. But never again. You and your darkness have nothing to offer. All I did was lose myself. Empty myself. I'm finished with all that. I'm stuck seeing people like you. People of the dark. I'll take you out one by one. Then don't forget to take yourself out last. Because you, like me, are one of the dark. That's fine with me. I turned to darkness because my heart was weak. I hate that weakness. It's like I'm my own enemy. And seeing people like you embrace the darkness just makes it worse. Enough talk, Maleficent. So you hate the darkness enough to fight it. Oh, the agony you must feel. Let me end your pain, Riku. And it forever with the wondrous power of darkness. I said darkness like ten times in that whole conversation. Bro, he has like no health. <laughs> I don't know, Maleficent. You're kind of weak, so long. Wait, I have, like, no thoughts. Okay, that's fine. Makes it more of a challenge, really. Okay, I have one card. No biggie, though. Yeah, if you use those slates, you, you just... Your cards go away for the rest of the battle. Slates are the thing where you stack three cards at once, and only the first card that you use in the slate goes away. And also, yeah, it was pretty cool. Basically, in this story, Riku's trying to come to grips with his darkness and cast it aside and whatever. He's got, He's pretty cool. Okay, so three, four, five... Oh, wait, no. Two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, wait, what? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay, well, guess I'll skip that for now and then get the, the other middle thing later. Trying to go in order. Dark points. <laughs> Also, he has a D report, which stands for the Dark Report, by the way, because of course it does. The King. Bruh, they just call him the King. Not even Mickey. Oh yeah, also that guy you just saw for one second was the guy we defeated the last game. Okay, next world. It only took like 40 minutes to beat the first one, so... I gotta say that's a pretty good track record. Wait, what's this? Oh, I guess I gotta open another door. Weird. Guess that's what Riku has to deal with here. To get to the la- like, usually you just beat- After you beat the boss, you would just get a room automatically that gets you to the end door, but no. Wait, what does Maleficent even do? 
I got a Maleficent card for beating her, so... Um... A power up. A power Ooh, I get to be stronger, huh? That sounds good to me. I'm just gonna spam that card. That way I can just body all my opponents. Power! Well, power! He's so strong. Sabrina. Oh, oh crap. Me. I just wish I could change the order of the cards. Like, I know they don't want me adding or removing cards from the deck, but at least they can let me change where the numbers are. Like, give me a little bit of leeway here. Like, I don't like that I have to keep scrolling to get the Dragon Maleficent card, but whatever. It's alright, that's not a problem. You just do whatever, but... Oh, right. Dragon Maleficent. Okay. Ah, I have to frickin' get behind that guy to hit him. Annoying. Annoying on the GBA, at least. Like, those kinds of enemies are so stupid. Here, because, like... They can just turn around instantly. Free Chain feels a little bit more clunky to me, because it's a 3E combat arena, like the regular games, which... I'm correct! On paper, it sounds okay, just it feels a little bit weird jumping from page one to that game. Takes some getting used to, but it's, you know, fine. With this game, you get what you see, like, it looks like how it plays. But the other game, there's a bit of a whiplash, because it feels, it looks like you're about to play something like a regular game, but it, it, it isn't, you know? It's just different. It's a bit of muscle memory there. This doesn't really look like a, not a regular game, so, because of the camera perspective, so it, 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 it kind of just clicks. More easily, I guess. A lot of health orbs here. I don't even need all of them, but whatever. Hello there, Supremus. How you doing? Why do you shun the dark? Oh, come on. I know you heard every word I said to Maleficent. Darkness is your weapon. I need you to accept it. What do you care? Stop resisting and accept the darkness. You must. If you are to serve me again. Oh, crap. Ansem. Just as I thought. You don't seem surprised. You always were chatty when it came to darkness. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, he just says darkness in every sentence he uses. So let me guess. You want to pull me back into the darkness and play Puppet Master again, right? Clever boy. You'll make a fine host. Now surrender to me again and... You're insane. There won't be an again. Did you really think you could harm me? A weakling like you couldn't even defeat Sora, and you had darkness on your side. Sure, it's like how M M Majin Vegeta couldn't beat Goku, and he was stronger when he had the Majin power. Excuse me for being weak. You need the darkness. Submit. Bow to the darkness and bow to me. 
not a chance. My camera feels like not centered for some reason. Here, let me just get more light here. Yikes, yikes, it's stuck. Okay, there. Darkness, darkness. You're gonna be hearing that a lot here in Riku's playthrough. Only darkness can help you now. You're wrong! Oh my god. Oh my god, it's him. That voice! Your Majesty, is that you? You betcha! Rico! Oh god, I can't, I, I can't do I can't do Michael's voice. It's Michael, guys. Rico, you're not alone! <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of Mickey dialogue here, too, so... Uh, oh, oh my god, his face. Listen careful now, Riku! The light will never give up on you. You'll always find it, even in the deepest darkness. <laughs> deepest darkness. <laughs> but you have to believe. <laughs> Bro, we're all. Mickey just comes back just to help Riku. It's very wholesome, actually. I will. Bro, <laughs> oh my god. His freaking goofy face. Yeah, this game is funny sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta laugh with it. Why is Riku's eyes blue on the map spray? They're supposed to be like teal. Hear that? I'm not losing to the darkness today, Ansem. You think some feeble light can save you from the darkness, I command? Fool. Sorry, it's a little unstable with the stuff right now. Let me just do something real quick. I don't know why it's centered like that at the moment. Oh, wait. No, that doesn't quite work out. Eh, that's fine. Okay, now I'm a little more centered. You think some people... Oh crap, I'm fighting him. Bruh, his freaking enemy card looks so funny looking. Wait, Mickey! Oh crap. Wait, what was that for? Mickey doesn't have an attack in this one? Bro, he's gonna get bodied. Ah, damn it. That all you've got? It seems you're intent on resisting the darkness. Very well, see with your own eyes. One of those. One of those! No. Though they are cured. They are cards crafted from your memory. Advance to the worlds they begat, and you will come to understand. Chasing the light will not distance you from the dark. You cannot run. Who's running? Give me the cards. I'll enter those worlds, and in the end, if I haven't given up, I win. I have one more gift for you. Oh crap. I got... What did you do? I kept with the darkness that remained in your heart. What? You still think that I'd rely on darkness? Whether or not you use it is your choice. I'll be waiting, Riku, for you to come to your senses and kneel to the darkness. The darkness in Riku's heart has been fortified. He can now enter dark mode in battle. That's pretty raw. Riku's dark points, DP, will fill as he takes damage or breaks upon his cards. When the DP displayed below, Riku's HP gauge reaches a certain level. Riku will transform and enter dark mode. 
Kamiko only used Blight while in dark mode. Losing a card break or taking damage will deplete DP. And when Riku's DP reaches zero, you will turn it to normal. Riku increases maximum DP upon leveling up. With higher DP, Riku can save dark mode for a longer period of time. So it's like a limit break kind of thing. Yeah, darkness mode is so cool from how it is in reaching anyway. It might be slightly different here, but not doesn't sound too different. Some things are a little bit different for this version, but both versions are pretty good. Yo. No oh, crap, wait. Uh, oh, okay, I see. I wonder what worlds I'm gonna get. I kinda forget, honestly. Don't I ever even get a... a hello, Lexius? Oh, hey, it's that guy that got killed by Axel. Yeah, that's the guy I was talking about earlier. His name is Vexen. Not to be confused with Vixen, the reindeer. Capo. What's going on, Zexian? I demand an explanation! Anyway, these are the bad guys called the Organization, later known as Organization 13 in Kingdom Hearts 2, because, you know, there's 13 of them. In this game, they're just the Organization, because, you know, you don't really know them yet. Nice to see you too, Vexen. You know, it's deplorable. The organization used to be the rope that binds us. And now it's full of kinks. How dare you! Anyway, there's a lot of, like, drama between the members and the group, and it's pretty cool to see their antics and banter. A lot of drama unfolding. Oh, wait, I just said that. Let it go, Vexen! Zexion, tell us, what did you detect? Visitors, I picked up two scents in the castle's lower basin. Ew, why is he smelling them? One of them was Maleficent, but... Absurd! The witch is gone! Ding dong, the witch is dead now. She cannot return from the realm of darkness of her own volition. If you let me finish, the scent belongs to a very convincing double. But I can't say much beyond that, since the would-be Maleficent is no more. Our other visitor saw to that. Who is it? I don't know, but the set was very similar to the superiors. Extremely similar, if I may say. Rubbish! Back, Bexion, now what shall we do? Let us bide our time and see what develops. Something tastes kind of funny. What is it? It's so familiar. Darkness. The taste of darkness. What's happened to me? The darkness even seeps into my senses. Don't you worry, Riku! Your Majesty! What happened to you? You're all... buzzy. Bro, it's just like Sonic Frontiers. He's, he's trapped in cyberspace. I could only send a little bit of my power here, but I have a request! A request? From Your Majesty? Riku, don't let go of yourself just because darkness has a hold on you! Bite the darkness inside you! Bro, I hate that face. It won't be easy. But don't forget, even in the deepest darkness, there's always a little light. You just said that, like, last cut light within darkness? You and I have seen it. The far off bottom of light inside the door of darkness. The light of Kingdom Hearts. Riku, it'll show you the way. Please don't give up. Believe in the light. That's all I ask. Okay, I'll try my best. And I'll try to find a way to reach you. I'll come, I promise. Bruh, wholesome. You're an illusion? My hand passes right through you. I guess you could say it's a castle of illusion. No. You know, the Mickey Mouse game. No. But 
we shook hands. I know hearts. We're connected. You and me. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, he's basically like one of the key like powers of light or whatever. Oh, like Sora and whomever, whomever else. Yeah, we'll just do Chavers down first. Like I would normally do on this kind of playthrough. I'm doing it, you can pick any order, but I'm just doing it in the order that they're mostly presented in, in the first Kingdom Hearts game. Also, you may have noticed, oh wait, no, you didn't notice actually, because they didn't show all the worlds yet. But, Gabe Jungle is not in this game. That is the Tarzan world. Why? Well, you're gonna, you're, you're just gonna have to ask the Ego, Edgar Rice Burroughs estate about that one, because copyright stuff. Tarzan is no more. He doesn't exist anymore. My my theory, he got away erased from the King of Wait, I have like no cards. What the hell? They want me to fight with like five cards in this world? Bro? Bro. Bro, I have no cards. What okay. Fair enough. Um okay, I have like no cards. Each world kind of changes how it goes, so it could vary. Well, maybe they want me to use less slate if they're giving me that little amount of cards to work with. Fair enough, I guess. I'm gonna get copyrighted for this song again for no reason. It's like, on YouTube, it just copyrighted me like, Oh, Traverse Town, orchestra version, and it's like, This isn't even orchestra, it's on the Game Boy frickin' Advance! It doesn't sound like an orchestra whatsoever. This is not the orchestra version. You're copyright fake, man. Just shut up. Just shut up and your nonsense fake copyright claim company. Mickey, do something. You know, in Rechain, he has like a light attack or something. In this game, he can just brings your card back. Wow, it's a really small world, too, apparently. Is this even shorter than it? I'm not falling for that again. I'm gonna save my one card now. Because this game is gonna trick me and make me get out freaking one later in the game again. In fact, I don't trust- I'm having trust issues. I don't want my playthrough screwed over again. I mean, you can't trust anybody in Castle Oblivion, so... Come <laughs> on. 
Also, for the record, I don't even use enemy cards that much, but since the ones they're giving me for a free two playthrough are so good, I'm just using them, like, all the time. Like, they're giving me all the best ones at the beginning. For free. Like, I don't even have to worry about wasting slots in my deck. They just give me whatever card. So, like... You know, I don't... Because, like, in Bessora, you have to worry about, like, how much card points you have in order to fit X amount in your deck. And then here, it's just like, you can use whatever you want that Riku has. in dark mode yet because everyone's so weak here. Bro, all the rooms seem so big in Riku's version of this world. It's actually kind of cool. I like that when the rooms feel massive for like a GBA game. It's a good song. Traverse Town is one of the best songs. Okay. There's more enemies now. I'm not gonna spam all this way. Yo, 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 yo! Okay, I didn't really get to use it. Yo! Bro, he's like Ultra Instinct. Goku or something. Eleven. Do 
what's the point of even exploring though? You'll just get a bunch of orbs. And that's it. The maps are bigger for Riku, but there's not much of a point because it's just HP. What I like to do is clear the rooms of all the heartless so I have max potential. I'm gonna use another one. And yep, almost done with the first world after all mission anyway, already. I might just wipe all these out on this one screen, because Riku's worlds tend generally tend to be a lot of basically. There's just less to worry about. Come on! 
I guess that is faster without the reloading. Time to fight the boss here. Three red. You might remember this guy from the cage one playthrough. Potentially, I don't know. So what does that do? I don't even know. Sharper's down, and you fight him again a little bit later with his armor being opposite. Dragon Maleficent is better than, like, at anything. But it means I gain ultimate power. 
Oh yeah, the Hades fight was pretty cool. Well, guess you'll be seeing him again eventually, if you tune in for the next part anyway, because Olympus is here as well. They got every world except for Deep Jungle. I've identified the... I've identified the Sench. It's Riku. Riku? But Riku is gone! He and that king were lost when they ventured beyond the door to darkness. How could he have escaped? Riku once showed them the darkness. Perhaps that made him half dark. And that's why you mistook him for the superior. Fascinating. The dark power given to Riku felicitated his escape from the realm of darkness. One with ties to both the Keyblade and the powers of darkness. This merits further research. What I want to know is why Riku appeared here in Castle Oblivion. Ha! That's simple. His existence resonates with that of another hero. Sora came, so Riku followed. Sora's in the castle? Yes, he and his companions arrived earlier. By now, that dog Melusia is already using Nominate to meddle with Sora's heart. Interesting. I had no idea. I don't think Malusia plans to hand Sora over, but he can play his little game. If he gets Sora, then we need only require Riku. If he truly is like the Superior, then he will be in we will be untouchable. Basement ten. Oh, next world again! That took like 20 minutes. Okay, we got Agrava, Monstro, Neverland. Okay, I'll just kind of do it in order, I guess. Agrava. There is no lore on these Disney floors, sadly. In Sora's story, Riku would just have like... I mean, Sora would just have like stuff to see all the time, but here it's just a bunch of nothing except for on the in-between floor. Like, the Disney story is kind of inconsequential, but like it lends to the themes of the game with like memory and all that, so it's kind of cool. Oh crap, dark mode. Yo, that's sick as heck. Yeah, I primarily remember Agrabah for being the first area where, like, you really get to use Dark Mode. That's from what, that's what I remember in my King Memory. Re, I mean, my Re Chain playthrough.
Scourge of Duck, Pogo Stricken, everything. Okay, um, increased damage when hitting enemies. That's kind of useless. Honestly. Mm -hmm. Dragon Maleficent will continue to be the best card. Kinda looks like a pink. No, I'm just kidding. No, no. You're not gonna trick me ever again. It's just like that one platform in Mario 3D World. I like that Mickey car. How they just gave him less walking sprites for the dark mode. Maybe they just didn't have time or couldn't fit that amount of sprites on him. I don't know. He only goes left and right versus Riku has like all these different directions. I mean, it makes sense. You're only using the dark mode for like X amount of time anyway. They spray all these directions for it. Ha! Ha! 
Come 
Okay, let's frickin' go. Um, five. Eh, yeah, sure, why not? Hey! 
I haven't seen Aladdin, I forgot about that.
Ha! 
Riku, I presume? Who are you? Are you with the Ansem? You are half correct. Let us say that it's not the Ansem you know. Foreshadowing, a nudge nudge, wink wink. He is Ansem and he is not. Which to say, he is nobody. True. Nobody, huh? Sorry, riddles aren't my thing. Try making some sense. He belongs to neither the light nor the dark, but walks the twilight in between. As do I, and for that matter... Haha, that's right. We have much in common. Maybe we do. But so what? Is that an invitation to join your club? Yeah, there's darkness inside me, just like you said. But darkness is my enemy, and you are too, for making everything around here reek of it. Oh, oh, so it's a fight you want. Very well, a fight you shall get. By the way, this is the guy that cloned Riku. So, it's because of this encounter in the basement, I believe you. Um, crap. You're just gonna kick your ass, Brad. Dark for Raga for the win. Not gonna lie. Oh, hello, Danino. Danina, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. How's it going today? Christmas is pretty soon, so that's cool. <laughs> this battle has made it clear. The darkness cursing through you is a tremendous power. All you needed was the right provocation. 
brain, so this was a trick? Precisely. You have me every reaction provided just the data I needed. You have my thanks, Riku. Okay, next world. Monstro and Neverland. I just wish there was more interaction here, like, you know, like, what if Riku had some pre-battle dialogue with Jafar or something, at least? Oh yeah, what cards do they have here? The lag. Oh yeah, look, see if it's the Pinocchio world that you like, except without any of the Pinocchio characters, so that's sad. Well, I don't know if you actually like the world, but it means Pinocchio, so... Monstro, am I right? We're not fighting the fox guy, sadly. No honest on here. That would be funny though, you just deck the crap out of Johnny's John. It doesn't seem like the fighting type. Yeah, this is one of the ones where they just are like, okay, you know what, let's just set it half, you know, at the ending of the movie. It's another interesting thing about Kingdom Hearts, sometimes they'll just start the, like, movie, like, midway through, or, like, at the end, or you know, different parts, which is kind of cool. Sadly, no, because, I mean, realistically, none of the, like, funny dog animal kind of movies are in Kingdom Hearts, except for the Hunter Hunter Dalmatians, which are, like, collectible in the first game. And then, there's a Lady in the Tram cameo in the first game, too, but other than that, they don't really have those types of movies, because, I guess, I mean, they don't really have action, to be fair, like, they're not really movies that would, like, work, I guess. I mean, realistically, they can make anything into a world if they wanted to, just, like, some work better than others. Um, what else? What was I gonna look at? Oh, yeah. Right, the new cards I have. Oh, eh, I don't need those. But... Yeah. Probably not. I mean, they could transform Sora into a dog or something, like they would for, like, Pride Lands and Kingdom Hearts 2, but otherwise, I don't know. I feel like they only want us to do that once and never again. They have their, their blind Sora. They're good enough. 
I still want them to do Jungle Book, though. Even though the ship's kind of fast for that. I mean, they could do live-action Jungle Book. That was a well-received movie. Nope, not gonna fall for it. Not gonna use this thing. Hoping for Princess and the Frog representation in the next game, too. That would be pretty cool. Oh yeah, Zootopia, that'd be sick. I feel like that has a good shot. Because that's, you know, they're going for a more CGI movie route, most likely. I mean, the only non-CGI movie in 3 was, like, Pooh and Hercules, and those were in previous games. There weren't any new non-CGI movie worlds. Well, unless you count Caribbean, but that's not a, you know, traditional 2D animated movie. You know. I, I feel like they're ushering in, like, a new era of Disney in these new kind of art games. And then maybe they'll use, like, other, like, more classic movies they didn't use yet in, like, side games. If they have more of those. Like they used to be. Oh crap, I'm gonna die. Okay, um, hey, I'm gonna wanna use this card, actually. Oh, Mickey heals me too, I forgot about that. I feel like Moana and then Moana has like the best bet for a Kingdom Hearts world out of all of them. The movies and also I don't know if you heard, but Star Wars has a good chance of appearing in the next game. People think that they saw Endor in the first Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer, so like, who knows if that crap will happen. Pretty crazy that they're finally gonna do it, but... As for Marvel, I don't know what they would do necessarily, since there's so many characters and, like, worlds and stories to pull from. Um, I'm just saying, though, a Spider-Man world would be pretty cool. Or if you're just gonna do a Kingdom Hearts world, you just do, like, the Avengers, and then... That's it, I guess. You just throw Sora in the middle of Avengers or something, I don't know. Imagine Sora frickin' teaming up with, like, Iron Man and Captain America. Imagine they pick- they do Avengers, but then it's like the frickin' Square Enix- Square Enix Marvel's Avengers game, and it's like crappy. Sword times sweat. Oh wait, no, that's not sword. Um, I mean, they could do a Guardians of the Galaxy world and pull from the Guardians game that Square did that was actually good for a year. They learned the lesson from Avengers and made a good game. So. <laughs> Speaking of Guardians, I watched the frickin' Oh yeah, Avengers would be pretty cool. I watched the frickin' Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special on Disney Plus. It was pretty funny. Mm 
Bro, imagine they just they should just make a freaking Santa Claus world. Have Sora team up with Scott Calvin. It'll be magical. It'll save Christmas. Just 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 do it. I don't even know what that would entail, but like, that would be funny. Just set it in Santa Claus 3. This is a freaking Jack Frost boss fight. And Jack Frost asks Sora if he wants to be his elf. Cringe. I hate. I freaking hate Jack Frost in that movie. Santa Claus 2 in the Hearts World. This the Sora versus the freaking Toy Santa. You know, this is giving me Bowser's Inside Story vibes. Just saying. The way the body is structured. Ha! 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 Ha!
Oh my god, stop flipping around. And they don't flip around constantly in that game either. Mm -hmm. 
by the way. Just a random thought. It's a pretty good show. It's pretty funny. Um. There.
Or your theatrics, Mickey Mouse. Michael Mouse. What this game also needed was a freaking animation to get the button. Sonic Pride and then watch the Cuphead show, bruh. It's, it's really good, man. It has three seasons. They're all solid. One of my favorite shows that, that came out this year other than Sonic. I mean, then again, I don't really watch any new shows. There's not really much of competition yet. However, still, I like them a lot. I also watched the Santa Claus, which is a sequel to the, you know, the Santa Claus movie series. So that's cool. It was pretty good. Good, good. Got why I randomly mentioned it earlier.
fast forward as a godsend. Ha! 
I like how the door frame is this problem. Remember, but in cage one, this is the guy that, like, Pinocchio was trapped in. He was a Pinocchio, and then Pinocchio just kept saying, HELP ME! over and over, and it was, like, annoying. Somebody get me out of here! Or whatever. We can mark it on the boss. It looks cool on him. Bro. Also, it was pretty hard, actually. Trying, remembering back to that freaking playthrough, and that was one of the first, like, hard, hard bosses. At least on proud mode. Or nothing is right, as it seems. There's a lot of barrels in here. Ah! Yeah. Picking a fight with some barrels. Three map cards! Okay. That's all. Yeah, especially when I fought the boss, like, a bunch. It was pretty crazy, wasn't it? Oh god, I thought OBS crashed again. Um, I gotta close Chrome. Hold up. It must be Chrome. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, back. Oh, there's so many of these guys. Bro, I've had it with these freaking enemies. Hey, hey, come on! Ha, ha, 
Oh god. Captain Hook is in a part here as it was in the other world. I mean, against Switch Sora, I guess. He was pretty crazy, actually. Captain Hook was a little bit hard, not gonna lie. In my KH1 Proud Mode playthrough, I don't remember him being overly difficult. I remember him being a little hard, but I got it yesterday. Okay, I think that's all of them. That takes care of that takes care of that. Where did Bexon go? He's off using Riku's data to create some kind of replica. And what of Sora? Namine is shuffling his memories even as we speak. Marluxia may well get his puppet. He's a danger to us all. Luxine's not to be trusted either. Nor is Axel. Who knows what that one is thinking? Let's observe a little longer, then speak with Vexen. But Vexen despises Marluxia. Think of the mess it would create. But that's why Bexen must be told. Better he clean up the mess than us. Neverland. And then after that I'm stopping for today, but... Let's try to sweep a bunch of these worlds as much as we can. 
Oh crap, this world's a little bit bigger than I thought, but it's all good. We can we can handle it. What kind of deck we got here? Eh, not too much shabby. Everything appears to be working fine. Are we just just kind of froze? Well, yeah. I just can't see what's happening currently on my actual OBS window. Because, like, it's not show. it's just still on Monstro. But it seems like everything's still operating fine, so I'll just continue as normal. So, yeah. Okay. That's good to know. Anyway. Ha! Hey, come on! Hey, ha! Come on! One. I will never see the number one in my life again. Oh, 
Another one of these sleeping doors. They don't have a lot of heartless in them. Um, hold up. Okay, everything's going according to plan. Okay. Just checking. Bro, they have me trapped. Come on. They're cheating. But it's a bunch of fours and fives. Oh crap. Ridiculous. 
seven. I mean, I could be trolling again. Although... No, no, no. I could be trolling. We do a little trolling. The sleeping world. Why? I don't know. Because Kyrie was sleeping. Uh, because her body was gone. That's Freaker's memory. That's my justification here, obviously. We do a little trolling. Oh, okay, I need help. That should do it. Alright, I don't want to fight the boss yet, though. Actually, crap, I don't have the ghost. Okay. Well, Mickey healed me too, so it's all okay. Besides, the game's too easy if I grind too much, so why not just make everyone sleep? It'll be funny, I swear. Something else. Oh, stagnant room card. That's probably something I would have used anyway. Hold up. Okay. Everything's according to plan. So far. Hey, 
They got me fighting game infinite right now. Come on. Ha, ha, 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 come on. Ha, ha
Ha! Ah. 
I'm gonna play hooky right now. Oh, okay, they want me to have a zero. Good thing I don't use these zero cards ever. Okay, time to fight hook. Bro, he has like no health. He's gonna be so weak. Bro. I can't so. Bring it on, yes, scallywag. Not getting the other hand. Yeah, it's again. Let's watch. Bro, he's just absolutely destroyed. Didn't even stand a chance. Proof that Riku is stronger than Sora. Um, not because he's weaker, of course. Not because the enemies are weaker, of course. Sure, Riku is clearly stronger. Oh, I need a zero again. I didn't mean it. Do that. What the? What are you supposed to be? Surprised? I guess you would be. Bro. Right. Um. I bet it's not every day you meet your twin. Is it too shocked to speak? This should come as a relief, but I'm a replica of you, that vexing man. Wait, he knows now? What? You mean a fake me? I didn't say fake. Just because you're real doesn't mean you're better. We share the same body and the same talents. There was one easy way to tell us apart, though. Know what that is? Unlike you, I'm not afraid of anything. Are you calling me a coward? You are a coward. You're afraid of the dark. The darkness inside you scares you witless. Look, I... But I am different. I embrace the darkness. I can make it do whatever I want. In other words... I can wipe the floor with you. Eh, yeah, that's a little too easy. <laughs> Just spam the high place. Riku is like hardly a challenge. I mean, then again, none of his boss fights are particularly hard in general, and retain either. Like, bro, we're basically twins now. Look at us. We're clones. My own clone. Now neither of us can be virgin. No, be virgin. 
Oh crap, I'm starting to run out of cards actually. Eh. Damn it, he keeps dodging. Bro, he just got bodied. Goodbye. Hey, fake! I thought you were gonna wipe the floor with me. Go on, laugh. I'm still new. I'll get stronger and stronger. Just you wait. It won't be long before I surpass you. Next time we fight, you're finished. Sorry, you missed your chance. I'll finish you first, right here. <laughs> it's nice to have darkness on my side. How could you be scared of something so thrilling? You're missing out. Shut up. So now the coward is playing tough guy. That's cute. See you next time, real thing. Try not to miss me. Bro, why is it capitalized? <laughs> Oriole thing. Come back here. I'll show you who's a coward, punk. I'll show you who's a coward, punk. We're not done here yet. I just went through the door by accident. How did it feel to fight the real Riku? He's spineless. I'll be running circles around him in no time. Before that, wouldn't you like to meet another hero? Oh, right. I forgot. Cause like, he, he doesn't think he's the real Riku yet. He didn't have his memory or hero. You mean that Sora kid? He's here in the castle, I hear. He's here in the castle, I hear. Want me to take care of him? Nothing's definite, but yes, it may come to that. I intend to make good use of you. No worries. Sora's just one more person to crush on the way to Riku. Come on out, you bait! Show yourself! Bait? Oh, I don't think that's the right word. What are you saying? He's just a copy of me. He said as much himself. A copy, yes. Or maybe a model. He's an example of what you should be. He accepts the darkness, 
just as you once accepted me. But now you are free. Perhaps you are the one who is being fake. Name one I've been one time I've been afraid of the darkness. In the card world in the card worlds, you grapple desperately with the darkness. Desperation is a product of fear. You fight the darkness because it frightens. Oh, I get it. You think I'll stop fighting the darkness just to prove I'm not afraid of it. Nice try, but I'm gonna keep fighting. So stubborn. Then continue your fight, if you must. Eventually, you will see. You cannot resist the dark. Okay, what we got next? I don't think he go through Pooh's world, but like, what will he do if not Pooh? I don't know. Well, I guess next up is Wonderland, Olympus, Atlantica, Halloween Town. On the next episode, so um, yeah, it'll be like a three-parter. Potentially four. We'll see how it goes. But I mean, that was that was pretty good, I'd say. Oh yeah, what does Hook do? All oh, right, that. You know, that's pretty good actually. I'll have to use that later. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you like what you saw, feel free to follow and check out my Discord server. Link is in the Twitch, in my Twitch channel sidebar thing, with all the other, you know, links to my channel. If you, um, if you liked this video, be sure to check out my streaming archive channel, Ultra Mario 3K Archives on YouTube. I have this, all of my Sora playthrough videos of Chain of Memories, Kingdom Hearts 1 Proud Mode streams, um, Mario Kart Tour, do that a lot, a lot of Sonic games, Splatoon 3, and Castlevania Symphony Night. Anyway, thank you all. Um, have yourselves a good one, and take care, everybody. See ya. Thank you so much for joining.